Welcome to JC Engineering and Technical Drawing. Today we'll be representing our isometric block into orthographic drawing in third angle projection. So in third angle projection, we'll start with our front view here, our side view by my left, and then our top view. So the first thing you need to know is that how and from our front view, the total height of our front view which is given to us as 48 millimeter. So measure 48 millimeter using a rule and then we'll put, indicate it to the point. We'll project the point to my left, the construction line. And then we'll know the total length of our front view which is also given to us as 60 millimeter 60 60 and then 60 so measure 60 millimeter then we indicate it to the point we project the point up upward now from our from our diagram here you can find that this is 21 millimeter so we'll measure 21 millimeter to my left 21 millimeter to the left also we we'll have 18 millimeter so we'll measure 18 millimeter also they will indicate it to the point they will project those points upward a little Then from our diagram from our front view find that this is five millimeter upward so measure five millimeter and then we use our t square that will join and then we are free to erase the extension but So we can see our diagram properly now the next thing is that since we've gotten our front view we can see 16 millimeter a box of 16 millimeter from the midpoint coming downward so we'll locate the midpoint of 60 which will give us 30 millimeter so we'll measure 30 millimeter and then we we'll indicate it with the center line The center line and then from given that from a diagram if you're looking at this from our front view we indicate this hole passing through so we'll use a hidden detail line which is a broken line is 16 so we'll measure it to my left it to my right so we indicate with a broken line since we've measured it to my left, it to my right, indicated with the broken line. And also do same to the right part. And then we'll, we're done with our front view then we outline so we're outlining we outline the portion this you can see it over here so we outline and also the top of our front view also outline all right then we are done with our front view 
they will move to our end view which is also known as our side view now we'll project the height of our front view to my right the same from the side view the same height of 48 millimeter which is also is 48 so just project to your right and then the total distance of our side view is 46 millimeter so we'll measure 46 millimeter measure 46 millimeter will indicate with the point and then we'll project upward and then from our side view we can see we're having 10 millimeter height so we'll measure 10 millimeter indicate the point and then we'll project to my left which is this height here we want to know the total distance from this top and this place so but we know that the total distance of our side view is 46 millimeter so we'll divide 46 by 2 to get a midpoint our center line so 14 6 divided by 2 give me 23 so I'll take 23 and then I'll indicate it at the center line which I've succeeded in doing now from my diagram you can see that we have this total distance from the side view this distance from the side view is 30 millimeters so we'll measure 15 to my left 15 to my right measure 15 to my left and then 15 to my right they will project downward to hit line 10 so project and now project now you can see that you can erase the midpoint here midline so that you don't get confused now you can see this portion over here is this the total length of this is this now you can see this portion here this giving portion at this and this so we'll outline so we can see properly now you can see we've outlined this portion but now from our diagram when we're looking at it this way we'll see a distance of 16 millimeter which is 8 to my left 8 to my right so I'll measure 8 millimeter to my left 8 millimeter to my right 8 millimeter to my left and then also 8 millimeter to my right then I'll project that distance upward project up and then I'll project upward now from my diagram you notice that from the base after seeing this 16 millimeter from the base the midpoint of this circle is 14 millimeter so I'll measure 14 millimeter upward then I'll indicate the point 
and also I'll indicate the center line there. Now, from also from this midpoint to the top of this is also 14 millimeter, so I'll measure another 14 millimeter upward. This is another 14 millimeter up, and then I'll use I'll join these points together. Free to erase this portion and then this portion so we can see properly. Now I'm free to outline this portion, this part, and then free to align that part also. Now, given that this is this, and then this is this. Now, you if you're looking at it from here, you can see only this portion, which is this. So now we're having a cycle here, which they say the radius is six millimeters. So open our compass to six millimeter, and then we'll place it at the point of the intersection over here, at the point of the intersection, then we'll draw a cycle having radius six millimeter and then we are free to outline this edge and then also this edge now from our diagram if you look at it this way you find out that there's a, a box of 16 millimeter passing through now which is also having the same distance with this as 16 millimeter. So you only project the up with a broken line. Project it with a broken line, indicating that there's a hidden, there's a hole passing through and it's hidden. Also, from our front view, if you see this from our side view here, you can see from our front view there's a gap of 18 millimeter passing through. So you project that point with a hidden project construction line. Once it hits the edge of our side view, then you represent it with a broken line so that to indicate that there is a passage, a hole passing through. Now also from our side view, from our side view here, you discover that there is a cycle. And so when you are looking at it from your uh, front view, you will see the cycle passing through because they say all our true holes. So from, you project the line from your side view to your front view. Once it hits the box of the edge of your Front view indicated with the word with a broken line, indicating that there is a hole passing through. It's a through hole, which is passing through. You can see it. Over there, so we're done with our side view. Then we'll move to our top, which is known as our plan. Take our 45 degree set square and then we'll project angle 45, and then we'll project the side of our side view upward. Once it hits our 45 degree, we move our set up and then we project the point to my left. Also from our front view, we project the side also. And you discover we're having a 
rectangular box at the top at the top view and then from our side view we project these two lines up once they hit a 45 degree we project to the left Put a point also do same to this portion project once it is a 45 degree put a point and then we we'll project it to our left now from our plan while looking at it from the top of our plan you can see these two lines these two gap at this now from uh, front view you can see that we have while looking at it from here from the plan you can see that we have uh, 30 millimeter so from our plan you can see 30 millimeter from the midpoint which is this so we'll measure 30 millimeter 15 to my left 15 to my right 15 to my left 15 to my right which is 30 millimeter and then I'll project those points once it hits my line, I'll put a point, indicate it to the point. Also, I'll project the next point. Once it hits my line, I'll indicate it to the point, and then also with a point. Now, for clarity purpose, we'll outline so that you can see properly. So, we'll outline. can see this outline this also outline this and this and then we'll outline this part as well now using our set square we we'll also outline this portion and then this portion now from our diagram you can see this now if you're looking at from the top view you also see a box of 16 millimeter so and which we indicated it that is passing through here so all, all what we need to do is we'll project our point up and then we'll project this up now from our side view, you can see it also is here, so project up and then project this upward. Now once it hits, where it hits a 45 degree, we'll project it to my left. And once it touches our line, we'll put a point, extend it, once it hits my point, my line again, I'll put a point. Similar stuff I'll do today next line where it is i'll indicate it to the point and then to the point then i'll outline now you can see the box from the top view which is 16 millimeter and then from my side view from my side view you can see when this portion here we extend it to this so we'll increase it a little to hit the end of the plan and then extend this to hit the end of the plan now while looking at it from the top view you discover you see a portion of this aspect coming down so you also see this gap of 8 millimeter so you measure 8 millimeter then you indicate it to the point you project that 8 millimeter upward now where it hits these two lines you indicate it to the point and then you outline
Now, so you understand the very well, this is it. While looking at this from the top view, you see this portion here, which is this. And then you see who passing through over here like this, which is this, this is eight millimeter, which is this giving you this. Similarly, you do same to this portion because they say true holes. That means that both sides, since all holes are passing to that both sides are what are having the same view. Both our left side and our right side view, they are all same. So measure eight millimeter. Then we indicate to the point, project to the point upward. Then we indicate here with the point, point, then we outline. This is it. Make sure all your construction lines are faint. You can use your eraser to faint those lines so that it will not get you confused with the true image now we will outline the side of this now, if you are looking at it from the plan, you see that there's a hole of this circle here of radius six millimeter passing through, but you can't see it, so it becomes a hidden line. So you project the cycle from the side view upward. Once you hit our forty five degree, we'll project. And once it touches our plan, we will begin to we indicate it with the broken line, indicating that there is a hole passing through. Also, do same to the other side of the circle. Project once it hits a forty-five degree. Project to the left. Once it touches, touches a plan will indicate it with a broken line indicating that there's a passage of a hole if a circle there thank you for watching i still remain gst engineering and technical drawing remember to give me a thumbs up and then subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of photographic drawing don't forget to hit the subscribe button thank you and do have a blessed day